Cards. I'm Michelle Wright with CowWhisperersCreativeCards.com and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Well, today we're going to be using the adorable Hedge Hugs stamp set. Oh, I love it, love it, love it. And this is going to be super, super simple. I'm going to show you, if you haven't tried our new Stampin' Blends alcohol markers, I'm simply going to be using four of the Stampin' Blends, okay? That's it. And... I'm going to be using our wood textures paper. We're going to be changing it up a little bit in this one today. As always, in the top of the eye and below in the description, you will find a direct link back to the blog post with all the measurements for this card and the supplies that I used on this card. So let's go ahead and set this aside. I'm using a different wood textures paper on this one. I love That's actually the opposite side. Oh, I love it. All right. Got myself a piece of soft suede and then I'm just going to use this to actually stamp my hedgehogs and I'm going to be using some uh, you know what let's use some chocolate chip chocolate chips what we're going to stamp our hedgehogs in so I want them fairly close together Okay. That's perfect. All righty. Give that just a little second here to dry. And I will tell you while that's drying, remember that's chocolate chip, that, oh, I need that to stamp our greeting. I just did the adorable U comes with it and I just put that right above them there we go all right I got that one a little bit closer but that's all right I will tell you that on this one I used um, rich raspberry for the layering oval the scallop and this one I'm going to use Bermuda Bay okay so I put the Rich Razzleberry in that flower, and we're going to do the Bermuda Bay in this one. Okay. Our Stampin' Blends come with a light and a dark. And I'm using Crumb Cake, Pink Pirouette. This is the light Crumb Cake. Dark Pink Pirouette, Light Old Olive, and the Dark Bermuda Bay. Okay. Two tips. You see the fine line and the thick line. This thick line means it's the brush end. That's what I'm going to use got a super sharp point on it as you can see and I'm just literally going to just little flicking motions you're gonna see how quick if you want to learn to use markers alcohol markers you will love these there's no intimidation at all okay and the more you work with them, the more they're going to blend out. So we're going to go ahead. Okay, I'm going to move over here to this guy. Pivot your paper. Make it where you can get that point, and you're just barely touching that paper. With that tip of this. That's why I prefer the tip. And I could use the dark crumb cake also to get more shading but I'm just trying to show you how simple they really are to use and the more you go back the more blending you're going to get okay so I'm just putting a little color down right now now let's go back over here let me show you what I mean I want to just get a little more there on him a little more on his leg okay same thing here you can just little circular motions just get a little more shading and this was uh, is all with the exact same marker this isn't even using the other marker okay just gonna leave it a little lighter up on his face all right now I will tell you 
all critters look better with pink cheeks. So that's why I've got my uh, pink pirouette. And I'm just barely going to just touch his cheek. Same here. Just touching it. That'll absorb. Now let's grab, and I'm using the brush tip, the thick tip for everything. Barely going to touch the flower, just barely. In three places. Okay. Look how fast this is coming together. And watch how quick the grass can come together. Because you're wanting different shades, remember. So I'm just going to kind of go around the bodies. And I want to come up in between their bodies. I don't want it to look like they're just floating on air. And then, as this alcohol, and you can see I'm kind of just doing the, I'm like on the edge now. It gives different dimensions all by itself. All right? So we've got that done. Now, like I told you, I've cut the Bermuda Bay out. That's the largest layering oval. If you purchase the layering ovals, you get a total of 15. Okay, you get the scallops and the plain. This is the second largest that I'm going to cut out of the plain. So let me do that real quick. I'm going to roll over here. Okay, I've cut that out of my big with my big shot. Now, let's go ahead. I'm a fast fuse girl, you know. And let's just put this down. That looks pretty good. And then we're going to go ahead and put our wood textures paper down. Remember, cards don't have to be complicated to be adorable. So we've got that. Just going across the middle here. And then we're going to pop this up with some dimensionals. right in the middle. How stinking cute is that? Aren't the hedgehogs adorable? And we use Stampin' Blends and it literally just took seconds. Seconds to do. Love, love the hedgehogs. Let me show them to you again. It's got a little squirrel, the birds, mushrooms. Oh, just too cute. Too cute. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. As always, at the end of this video, I've uh, listed two more that I think you may enjoy. And if you're looking for an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and you live in the United States, I'd love to be your gal and sure appreciate your business. I hope you have a wonderful day and happy crafting.